For country folk, back in the day, it was so difficult to find another human to breed with, they would organise fancy balls. Bachelors and spinsters would come from hundreds of miles around for some wholesome fun. Two very long glasses of ice cold milk, please, mate. Jeez, <gasps> And just like Star Trek, the next generation fucked it. But I heard of a party going on in a remote central Queensland town that promises to change all of that. And this particular party, the Taroom BNS Ball, is back after a 25 year hiatus, like a drunk phoenix rising out of the fires caused by human negligence. Can I get an espresso martini? No, um, no, sorry. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway, my Uber's here. <laughs> The organisers of the Taroom BNS promised ticket holders that this BNS would be a throwback to classier times. But can these two sisters hold back the hordes of bogans at the gate? A lot of young people would come to these things hoping to meet somebody. 500 Definitely. people, you've got to hope you've got you've a got chance. If you've got 250 of the opposite sex, you might bump into somebody that you're attracted to. A BNS balls necessary for the country because Tinder is shit house out here. <laughs> Well, yes. I guess you've got to set your radius to like 300 kilometres to get a match, the, so... The, the radius for Tinder doesn't, yeah. doesn't reach far out here, that's for sure. No. <laughs> what specifically are you trying to avoid tonight? Little little bottles of like coloured food dye and just throw it over everybody. Like it's Yeah, like bomb everyone with food dye. And I heard in the pub that people smuggle it in, in their mouths. Uh, but how do they talk if it's like in their mouth? I don't know, country people don't... Open their mouths and they talk anyway. <laughs> yeah, good <day. laughs> well, Nothing to see here. I suppose our aim is to bring back the class back into a BNS. True story. I was driving and I, I said, Room, that might be a nice bloody town to go visit. I said, Oh, I came in. It turns out the SNB is on tonight. <laughs> Room BNS. What's one of the craziest stories you've heard happening at, at one of these? They used to have a thing they used to call a greasy pig, and they get like a wild pig and then grease it up. And all the every, all the young blokes when they were drunk used to have to try and catch it in like a big arena, like that. But I don't think that'd go down very well now. So, like a lonely bloke in the back of a ute, will they pull it off? I'm gonna get fucked up, completely fucked up. In this is all this. A bit of bock. Bit of, bit of wine. Wine, pims. Cheap Midori. Oh, I do love ginger ale. How hard was it to get the black tie outfit? Was it a challenge? No, nah, vintage, mate. Local vintage. Bill of Wheeler for me. All Rockhampton. You go down there, spend about four bucks and you look like this. Pretty flash, so. <laughs> there they go again. There they go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon it makes you look cool in front of the yeah, girls? Definitely, oh, definitely, 100%. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm just writing my number because that guy's circle work was pretty good. Is it going to be a classy event? Well, I think that's the point of the ball gown and heels, but it never ends up classy because we all end up shit faced afterwards. Inside, it was a different story. The BNS ball was filled with elegant young people with acres of land and heads of cattle, the kind of young people you could take home and introduce to your mother. How's tonight turning out? Pretty good so far. We haven't had too many dramas. Look around, do you see any food dye? Not yet. Exactly. It it's a very classy venue, people. This BNS ball was far too sophisticated for this reporter. I guess it's up to me to fix it. It's time to bring back some tradition. Hey, boy! I'm the greasy pig! Trace me! Grace the <laughs>